Thanks, Gary. Here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, obviously uh, not the way you wanted this type of day, but the Mountain Hawks had uh, other ideas. They jumped on you quick. Yeah, uh, they're, I mean, they're the fourth place team. They're a very good basketball team, and they're very deep, you know. Um, so we knew it was going to be a tough game coming into this, and uh, all the emotions and all the other stuff doesn't help sometimes with, with games like that. But uh, you got to give them credit. Um, you know, our guys didn't give up. They kept fighting. I mean, we, we still have another game to go, and uh, but uh, they, they were very good today. Yeah, that's good because, you know, we'll be here uh, obviously Tuesday night. Don't know who that opponent's going to be. But, again, let's just reflect before I get you out of here. Unbelievable atmosphere today. Yeah, I'm so appreciative of the people coming out. And uh, and uh, it, was, it was a great run that I had. I, I, I'm going to miss it greatly. I, I loved every minute of it. And, uh We'll, uh, we'll turn the page now. Yeah, I got a chance to talk to your wife and your kids, and I don't know if they are eager to have you home or they want to get rid of you after a while, but I think they really want you to be home for a while. Well, uh, <laughs> what's a while? A couple weeks? I don't. Know. I think a couple weeks. But yeah. Thanks so much for a couple minutes. We'll see you Tuesday. All right, thanks. Appreciate Mike. it thanks. again. Congratulations. And I thank you and the support of all you guys that you've given me over the years. You've been, you've been tremendous, and uh, I'm very appreciative of that. Appreciate it. Nothing but class. Right. Thank you so much. Gary, a fitting end here, obviously. Coach O'Hanlon, uh, a little bit bittersweet, but a great man. Back to you. No question about it, Mike. Nice job with the coach, and certainly we look forward to seeing the coach again on Tuesday night. As uh, John, I think uh, we might be ready to show some highlights. Well, so here they are. Yeah, and it was uh, it was one of those days for the Leopards, and you heard Fran O'Hanlon talk about Lehigh. We'll talk about them in a moment, but uh, the big guy, Neil Quinn, did his best to get Lafayette off to a competitive start, and then the walk-on senior captain, Jay Vaughn, from Allentown Central Catholic with a high arcing kiss off the glass. Good things happening for good people. Leo O'Boyle catching in rhythm from his senior co-captain, Tyrell Perry, but in the end, in that first half, here's just two of the 16 first half points by Evan Taylor and you know, Evan Taylor just could not be stopped. He just checked all the boxes, scored every possible way, and uh, here you see him knock down a three. But Gary, it was late in the game and an inconse inconsequential little mid-range jumper that missed uh, before Evan Taylor missed anything at all. Tyrone Perry, there's no give up in him. He worked so hard, and then Lafayette fighting to the end. Kyle Jenkins with the flush at the other end after the creating the uh, turnover. And then Leo O'Boyle, just not enough of that going on. Lafayette can shoot the basketball, but Lehigh's defense was outstanding. This young man, Tyler Whitney, excuse me, I, he's a freshman, and he is some kind of player. Watch him get up on this one. I'm sorry, that's Higgins right there. No, that was, that was Whitney Sidney. Marcus Wilson on the flush, and then, of course, Evan Taylor puts the exclamation point on it. But, Gary, it was tough to keep up with all of the contributors of, of, of Lehigh. They just came in and they seemed to almost feed off the energy in this building. You heard Fran O'Hanlon suggest that you never know how the emotion is going to impact the basketball team. And I think, uh, oddly enough, uh, paradoxically, paradoxically almost, it favored Lehigh today. It certainly did do that. And uh, everything now has been established in the Patriot League. Lafayette. Uh, we'll take on Bucknell on Tuesday. Holy Cross will take on American on Tuesday night as the bottom four will play to get into the semifinals. Otherwise, it's going to be Lehigh taking on Army and Colgate Navy and Boston have clinched one, two, and three. Loyola is number six. Army is number five. So today it was Evan Taylor with 23 points, Nick Lynch with 14 the only players in double figures in the entire ball game. Lafayette's high was Leo O'Boyle with nine. A, a very atypical basketball game for Lafayette today as they didn't shoot the ball well. And obviously, Lehigh was on fire and defended exceptionally well. So, Lehigh finished the regular season 12 and 18, 10 and 8 in the league, finishing fourth. Lafayette finishes 10 and 19, 7 and 11 in the league, finishing eighth. And they will play again on Tuesday night. Lehigh has a bit of a break before their next ball game. That's it. Final score, Lehigh 78, Lafayette 58. My thanks to Mike Joseph, John Leone, to all of you for spending time with us. Your invitation is there for Tuesday night. I assume that's going to be a 7 o'clock ball game. For all of us on the Lafayette Sports Network and ESPN Plus, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.